standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. So, Rihanna says they recovered the Leopard's original AI when they overhauled the mainframe last week. As old as this ship is, that could be some kind of lost tech artificial intelligence. She said it was called... Larry? Larry, wake up. Well, hello there, on behalf of Federated Boeing Interstellar. Allow me to congratulate you on your impeccable taste as demonstrated by the purchase of this fine piece of transportation technology. For optimum performance and safety, please read the user's manual prior to operation. Please find a copy of this, along with a complimentary air freshener, stowed in the glove compartment located in the lower left portion of the helm console. Please note, the contents of this manual are void where prohibited, no representation or warranty, express or implied, with respect to the completeness, accuracy, fitness for a particular purpose, or utility of these materials or any information or opinion contained herein. Contents of this spacecraft may settle during operation. No user serviceable parts inside. Use only as directed. Operation of this spacecraft in a conflict zone is not recommended by Federated Boeing Interstellar, as this could lead to an unexpected cessation of end user life functions. And while we're at it, I guess I should mention, warranty does not cover normal wear and tear, misuse, accident, lightning, flood, hailstorm, tornado, tsunami, volcanic eruption, avalanche, earthquake or tremor, hurricane, solar activity, meteorite strike, nearby supernova and other acts of God. Whether declared or not, explosive devices or projectiles, which can include, but may not be limited to, arrows, crossbow bolts, air gun pellets, bullets, shot, cannon balls, BBs, shrapnel, lasers, napalm, torpedoes, ICBMs, or emissions of electromagnetic radiation such as radio stones, bricks, spit wads, spears, javelins, etc. Other restrictions may apply. Breach of these conditions is likely to cause unquantifiable loss that may not be capable of remedy by the payment of damages. This supersedes all previous disclaimers. Don't say we didn't warn you, because I just did. Now that that's out of the way, would you like to know the best way to maintain the rich Corinthian pleather seat covers that come standard with your new Federated Boeing Interstellar dropship? Uh, no. So, uh, do you actually do anything useful? My primary function is to protect Federated Boeing from legal liability, but seat cover maintenance education is one of my most useful end-user services. This was confirmed via focus group during my heuristic patterning. Really? Did you know they had to delete the barracks porn partition to make room for your program? Well, I'm not sure what that has to do with seat covers. Because right now that seems like a bad trade. So unless you can help me deal with Comstar and finish up my mercenary review board paperwork, I'm going to delete you and re-download Debbie Does the Draconis Combine. What? No, no, I can totally help you with paperwork. Well, that's great. Then you can finish up my Merck Company application and submit it to the MRB. All you really need to do is settle on an official name, check for typos, and transmit everything to the local Comstar relay. Sure thing, boss. I can help you with that. What do you want to name the company? You know, the ship's already covered in those devil heads, and my last name is Dextra, so, why don't you put that artificial intelligence to use? Just keep it simple and name it something obvious and appropriate. Oh yeah, obvious and appropriate. I won't let you down, boss. Yeah, well, you better not. In the meantime, I gotta go make another one of those goddamn how to be a mercenary videos to work off my community service requirements for mistreating recruits. You know, what about all the bullying I put up with? Mantis, you can't violate your trainees' human rights. Mantis, your constant threats and abusive behavior are not appropriate in the workplace. <sighs> Jeez, what a joke. I bet Fod's the one who reported me, that little cockney weasel. Dun dun, da da dun, da da dun, da da dun. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Greetings, mercenaries and prospective Lance Commanders. Manus Dextra here, 
and welcome to episode two of So You Want to Run a Merck Company, produced in cooperation with the Lyran Commonwealth Ministry of Defense. This video series aims to fulfill my court-ordered community service obligations and promote best practices among mercenaries and mercenary companies seeking work as auxiliary forces for the LCAF. This guide was developed using a typical House Steiner Scout Lance in the year 3015, consisting of one Griffin, two Commandos, and one Locust. In the previous episode, I covered how to refit mechs for the battlefield, along with basic information regarding the star map and combat techniques. In this episode, we will briefly review my suggested refits for the starting Steiner Lance, then we will discuss how to expand and upgrade your mercenary company as part of a long-term strategy. I recommend using the Griffin as the commander's mech. The rest of the builds follow with fire groups. The pause button is your partner in learning here if you're slow-witted. With a relatively weak lance and little money starting out, you'll need to start salvaging mechs from the battlefield as soon as possible. To do this, start out in low-level conflict zones and concentrate on doing missions for House Steiner. You can do jobs for other factions as well, but avoid doing any missions against House Steiner. This is important because as your general mercenary reputation grows, and your specific reputation with how Steiner grows, you will start to accumulate negotiation points that you can spend to get more salvage and better payouts for missions. As a rule, it will take about 10 to 15 salvage shares to claim a light mech and 15 to 25 shares or more to claim a medium or heavy mech in good condition. When negotiating a contract, I usually spend one point on damage coverage and divide the rest between salvage and sea bills, favoring salvage. If I'm doing a mission that specifically calls for destroying a base or bases, I might negotiate for an airstrike too. As you work your way across the Lyran Commonwealth, moving toward the Draconis Combine, your focus should be on building your forces into a true battle mech company consisting of three heavy lances by 3025. Having multiple lances allows for extended operations in conflict zones and makes your mercenary company more likely to be offered long-term contracts with state armed forces. We'll need to be flexible as we build our lances, since the mechs we find on the battlefield and in the markets could be just about anything. As a rule, you'll always want to claim a mech as salvage when you can. Whether you keep it or sell it on is another matter. Light mechs we might want to keep include the fire starter. This is actually a good commander's mech when doing low tonnage demolition jobs. The FS9-H is the most common variant. I usually run it with nearly max armor, two machine guns, and six short burst lasers. Other light mechs that are worth keeping include the Jenner. Any variant that mounts four medium lasers will do. And two common javelin variants, the 10N armed with SRMs, and the 10F armed with medium lasers. Here are my suggested refits. As always, use the pause button if you have problems absorbing knowledge like a normal human. No judgment here, safe space and all that happy horse shit. <sighs> now, let's hit the simulator and try these little buggers out. 
I did several demolition and war zone drops with these little guys, and they all did pretty well. The weakest link is probably the SRM Javelin, but it's still better than a Commando or a Locust. So those are my picks for light mechs to keep. In the next episode, we'll put our upgraded and expanded lance to good use. Stick around to watch the rest of this mission, plus a bonus Warzone drop too. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more totally not abusive MechWarrior 5 content. It only takes a moment, and it really helps to keep the probation officer off Uncle Manus's ass. Good hunting, and I'll see you in the next briefing. Objective Commander, why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Sierra 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. Coordinates confirmed. Sierra 2-1, out. Lance, attack my target. A negative on last. Sorry, Commander. Form on me. We're on your six, Commander. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Not on your attack. Damn it. Enemy eliminated.
Transform on me. Flooding in behind you, Commander. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Claim cargo. Ready to start pickup operation. Package acquired. Let's attack my target. We're on your target, Commander. Target acquired. Tango eliminated. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Commander, prepare for extraction. screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible we have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back our employer reports airstrike support is inbound on your position you should be able to call it in shortly target mech eliminated Show map. Close map. Enemy vehicle in the area. Enemy forces moving in, Commander. 
Get ready for them. Target applied. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Attack my target. Copy, we on it, sir. Attack my target. Let's get that thing. Attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Target destroyed. Well, let's attack my target. We're on your target, Commander. Let's attack my target. We've got your target, Commander.
as you like, but pickup is available at the extraction site when you're ready. Let's attack my target. will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.